Did I ever tell you the story of the father and the son? Well, you see, the son walks up to the father and says, I want to see the world. The father laughs and says, no, you don't. The son was surprised by his answer and says, yes, yes, I do. You've seen the world. Why wouldn't I? The father calmly replied, because you don't want to travel the world to see it. You don't want to go to the old growth forests to see them. You go to the forests to know what it means to breathe fresh air, even when it takes your breath away altogether. You don't hike to a remote cabin just to see it. You go to face your thoughts and grow closer to the wind. You go to know what it's like to sit at the edge of the world. You don't travel thousands of miles just to see things. You travel thousands of miles to be one with time itself and listen closely to Mother Nature and all her power. You go to get a little wet, to feel a little warm, to take a little break, and to taste the freedom of a road so open it never existed in the first place. You don't go deep within the earth just to see it. You go to understand how the earth was made and feel that power for yourself. You see, you don't go to the mountains to see them. You go to experience one of the last true wildernesses and exist with nature in its purest form. You see, we don't travel the world to see it, but to feel it, to know it, to live it. We travel to understand what it means to be part of it. And that's why you shouldn't go to see it. Because I promise you, you want so much more than to just see the world.